What is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your sixth ReactJS tutorial in which I'm going to talk a little about what properties are which is actually known as props in React and uh, we have actually used them in our earlier tutorials. So what essentially they are is that React introduces the concept of props to pass data from the parent components to the child components right so react allows you or allows the parent components to talk to the child components which are you know just declared inside those particular components with the help of props right so they are sort of used to pass down the data from parents to children right so in our case what we have here is this hello planet which is a component which is inside this div which is sort of you can call a component right so we are passing the name as earth and the name here is the property just like we do in regular html like script src and uh, you know html lang e and just like that but right here we can just name our prop anything we want and any value actually any value literally not just strings and numbers we can actually do something like if we have let's just say our object is um, anything my favorite number um, anything like that so you can just pass down this object as well if you want to and uh, when you are dealing with this sort of javascript things what you would like to do is say like my object and then since we are passing this object as a property we want to make use of curly braces right so we make use of this curly brace sort of thing in render function or you know render method whenever you are dealing with javascript or you know expressions like you could actually do something like um, 5 into 2 like that so it will just evaluate it as a javascript expression so we can just get rid of our mars and pluto for now and uh, inside our hello planet what we can do is we can say that uh, first of all this console log uh, this dot props right there and then we can say that uh, dot uh, my favorite number right so we can say your favorite number is and we can see that our favorite number is zero and essentially we get 10 as well here because we are doing this thing right there this expression gets evaluated to 10 right so that is how pretty much you pass in data from the parent component to the child component right and remember that when you see something like this dot props dot my object or something like that then you should know immediately that the data which you're accessing right here is coming from some other component which is sort of the parent component of the component code you are looking at right now so that is how pretty much how props work and they're kind of easy to do and uh, yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one